Hello everybody, it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations. I'm so excited to bring you another double Z fold card today. This is using the Painted Harvest Bundle and the Painted Autumn Designer Series Paper. I'm so excited to share this with you. Let's get started creating. I'm starting out with two pieces of thick, very vanilla cardstock. This piece measures nine and a quarter by three and three quarter, and this piece measures 11 inches by five and a half inches. I have two more pieces of very vanilla cardstock here. This piece goes on the front and it measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then this piece is just a scrap so that we can cut out our sunflower. The other pieces we're going to need is a piece of crushed curry. This measures three and a half by three and a half. I also have two pieces of designer series paper from the Painted Autumn designer series paper. This piece measures five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this piece measures two and a half by five and a quarter. I also have a scrap of cherry cobbler cardstock for our leaves, as well as a scrap of designer series paper from the Painted Autumn set. And this is what we are going to cut our happy birthday out. I also have here a piece of Sizzix adhesive sheet. I'm going to stick it to the back of my designer series paper. This will allow our happy birthday die to become a sticker and make it a lot easier to put on our card. I'm going to start by running our die through our big shot. So I have the magnetic platform, a cutting plate, my designer series paper, along with my die, and I'm going to put my other cutting plate on top, and I'm going to run that through twice. And that cracking is absolutely normal. Okay, so now I can pull my die out. And I'm using our die brush and I have just put one of the foam pads, it comes with two, into one of our large clear mount cases. And I'm just going to use the die brush to run it over the die and it will help to just get that right out and all those pieces just fall away. I'm using the leaf punch from the painted harvest bundle and I need three of those leaves. And now from the painted harvest stamp set, I'm taking the larger sunflower. This is the base image and I am using cherry cobbler and crushed curry ink pads. I'm going to take crushed curry and that's going to be my first layer. And then with the second image, I am taking my cherry cobbler. And then I'm going to line up this little divot right here with the first image. And now I'm gonna use the sunflower middle with some soft suede. Now we're going to work on our embellishment. So after you have your sunflower all stamped, we're just going to fussy cut that out. And I find the best way to do that is to cut around your image first. And then work your paper around your scissors. Make your paper do all of the work. All right, so on my Simply Scored, I'm going to take the smallest piece. This is our nine and a quarter by three and three quarter piece. And I'm gonna make two score lines. The first at two and three quarters, and the next at five and a half. Now I'm going to bring in my larger piece. This is our 11 by five and a half inch piece. And I'm going to score it in the same places, two and three quarter, and five and a half. 
With my bone folder, I'm going to fold this in half. And then I'm going to fold the top back on itself. I'm going to do the same with our other piece. Fold that down. And then fold the piece back. That gives us our Z fold card. Now it's time to start adhering some things together. So I'm taking my designer series paper piece with some snail on the back of that. And that gets adhered to the square portion of the card. And then I have the smaller piece of designer series paper and that will get adhered to the front panel. I'm taking our happy birthday sentiment that we have that really handy adhesive on and I'm going to very carefully peel off that adhesive sheet to reveal our sticker. And then I'm going to carefully place that on my very vanilla piece. That's going to get mounted to our crushed curry cardstock. And I'm going to mount that to the square portion of our smaller Z fold piece with some dimensionals. Now I'm going to stamp our sentiment, which is from Painted Harvest. This stamp says, your kindness means so much more than you will ever know. And I thought that paired really well with happy birthday. So I'm taking some cherry cobbler ink and I'm gonna stamp that right down here in the middle. Now to adhere our two pieces together, I'm going to take some fast fuse and I'm just going to run two lines of it to the one side of our main focal point. So I have two small strips of my fast fuse right here. You don't wanna put it on the entire thing, otherwise your card will not open. So I'm going to fold this in half, and I'm not gonna worry about folding the back side of this yet. I'm just going to find the placement for my first piece, and I'm just going to stick that down to the left side of the card. So it's very important you don't put any adhesive here because you don't want it to stick right there, otherwise your card won't open correctly. So now that I have that portion done, I am going to put some fast fuse all over the back of this last panel piece. And now I can fold that up like this. You wanna make sure that you don't stick it down to anything else accidentally. And then we're just going to fold up our card and that gives us our double Z. And now I'm going to take two dimensionals and I'm going to pop those right off to the side here. And I'm gonna stack them on top of each other so that I get my sunflower a little higher than this piece here. Now I'm just going to take some snail and on the right side of your leaves, right at the stem, you're going to put some of that snail on and place those wherever you'd like. So I'm going to put one there and I'm going to have one come out down here 
And then finally, I'm gonna put one on the inside. So I'm gonna actually put the adhesive on the leaves and I'm going to angle him right down here. And now the last finishing touch, we're going to use our glitter enamel dots. And we're going to take a couple of these beautiful ombre yellow glittery pieces of heaven. And we're going to sprinkle those around. So there's a small, here's a medium. We'll put that one over here. And then I'm going to take, let's see, we'll take a large, mostly clear one. And I'm gonna put that right down here. And there it is. There is our double Z fold happy birthday card using Painted Harvest. I just love this card so much and I hope you do too. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this project today. You can visit me on the web at melissascreations.com or on Facebook at facebook.com mcreations. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.